What is up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. So after much anticipation, the global four year anniversary is officially here and I cannot overstate just how ecstatic I am, how excited I am, how hyped I am. <laughs> oh my god, it feels good man. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Let's see what this celebration, what this anniversary has in store for us. We're gonna start from the very top and move our way down. All right, first things first, this is the main news release with all of the major events that are here for part one of the celebration. Keep in mind, there are two parts to this four year anniversary. This is only part one, guys. All right, part one, astounding adventure. Fourth anniversary, ultimate Dokkan anniversary celebration begins. Thank you for your continuing. I can't even read right now, I'm so excited. Thank you for your continuous support and passion. It's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle's fourth anniversary. Various events that celebrate the fourth anniversary are available. Have fun joining the events. I will. All right, number one, a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle fourth anniversary special movie. So this will play when you log into the game for the first time when the anniversary is available. And uh, I watched it before this and I gotta say guys, it, it really got me in the feels, man. Like it brought me back. It was really nice, took me down memory lane. Um, so I really enjoyed that, that's awesome. Number two, we have, here we go. Tons of thanks, fourth anniversary Shenron daily login bonus. So a daily login bonus, and by the way, if you guys logged in, um, you know, for the first, I mean, of course logging for the first time, what I'm trying to say, uh, when you logged in for the first time, we got a nice surprise of 44 Dragon Stones, guys, 40. Four Dragon Stones, as well as these free to play Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, which you can technically use to feed in for Super Attack for your other Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, but um, I would personally keep it as kind of like a souvenir, but it's up to you. And uh, some other good stuff as well, like tickets and all that good stuff. So that's awesome. Speaking of tickets, number three is the ticket banner, and it has some nice featured units, but it also has apparently all the LRs. I haven't checked it yet, so I can't say for sure, but from what I've heard from people, they're saying that all the LRs should be on the banner, so um, maybe we'll check it in a second and see if that's true, but I've heard there's like all the LRs up until Tech LR Broly, so uh, it's a possibility, but don't hold me to it. We'll, we'll check in a second, all right? Number four, we have To The Universe Grand Tour. So this is basically um, a little community event where like we all have to collectively complete these uh, missions basically and collect the Dragon Balls and we'll get rewards after that. Um, we'll get into the main page for that in a second too, but that's a thing. Number five is Grand Adventure Missions, so basically daily missions and um, uh, what, are, what are they called? Special missions. So we'll check that in a second too on the main page for the missions. Number six, we have sixth or fourth anniversary Facebook event and it has something to do with like fusions and something like that. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that's all about, but I can tell you right now, it's a Facebook event where we get stones and other rewards. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's pretty standard, uh, but you guys can check that out if you want in your own time on Facebook, that's going on. Number seven, we have fourth anniversary select characters Dokkan Festival. Basically we get a free God Dragon Stone that you can actually use to collect uh, one of these units. Um, STR Gogeta is probably the best, but there's some other really good units in there too. So uh, maybe we'll take a look in a second as well in the Baba Shop. Basically, you get the stone for free and then you exchange it for one of these units in the Baba Shop. Uh, really, really nice deal, all right? By the way, if you guys have an old red dragon stone, you can't use those anymore because they're all different, right? So I, <laughs> I saw someone in the comments on Instagram a couple days ago and they were like, yo, I'm so excited for this red dragon stone. I'm so excited for the four year anniversary and I'm extra excited because I have an old dragon stone, a red dragon stone that I was saving. And I was like, dude, I'm sorry, man, but can't use it. <laughs> Straight up can't use it. So that sucks. Um, number eight, we have the Dragonstone sale. Of course, super discounts and these sales are pretty solid. Okay, so six stones for 50% off once only, 12 stones for 50% off once only, 32 stones this is probably the best deal out of all of these. 50% um, off or over 50% off three times. So you can get up to almost 100 stones for a very reasonable price. Of course, this only applies to pay to play players. If you're free to play, you don't really care. Um, 91 stones, 20% off, seven times. So that's not bad, that's not bad. Okay, cool. And also there's the dragon, the purple dragon stone pack. Premium dragon stone three is the purple dragon stone and you can get 100 stones for that and also get a purple dragon stone. You can buy this actually twice. Um, I don't know what the exact price for this is. I remember it was like okay, like a decent deal on JP. It's a extra good deal of course if you actually need the purple dragon stone for me personally. I don't really need it. I still might pick it up just for the stones, but um, yeah, it's not really like a great deal for me. 
Um, all right, number 10 is the fantastic deals at Papa Shop. Okay, so this is basically, you can exchange um, these fourth anniversary coins for like some Kai's and other items in the Baba Shop. Uh, so that's not bad. Number 11 is a new uh, Bald Hercule event. And uh, this is a once a day thing where you can get anniversary tickets, uh, I believe for summoning, those summoning tickets, um, as well as some other items too, I think. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's a daily event. So do that every day, make sure to do that, don't forget. At number 12, we have the Giru event where we can farm the free to play Giru, get all of his orbs, rainbow him, and uh, I think he, he does have an Extreme Z Awakening, does he? Um, let me check. All right, so he does not have an Extreme Z Awakening, but he is still a very good support unit for the Dragon Ball Seekers category. So I would definitely recommend everybody to still farm him up because he is free to play after all, and he is a free rainbow too. So that's awesome. Number 13, we have the Dokkan Awakening for the B-Pan, the free to play B-Pan to LR status. And I am extremely, extremely excited for this because she is a very good support unit overall for pretty much everybody with that active skill and the active skill looks pretty cool too so um, definitely one of those things I was definitely very very looking forward to for the 4 year anniversary and there it is the B-Pan LR Awakening number 14 we have a new Extreme Z battle which comes out tomorrow and that's for the free to play Int Goku Jr so that's some free stones right there and I'll uh, probably do a stream for that too so keep an eye out for that and number 15, we have new boss rush stage added with these guys as the bosses. And uh, once again, just more free stones. I remember this one wasn't very challenging at all. Um, so go clear that, get your free stones. Good stuff. Okay, number 16, we have some celebration packs. And I'm pretty sure this is a Pilaf's Trove thing. So we're not gonna, you know, waste any time on that. Not worth our time. Stay away from it. Unless it somehow become like, ends up being really, really good, which... I highly doubt, so most likely to stay the F away from that. Number 17, we have the Dual Dokkan Fest for the LR Super Saiyan 4s, which by far I think is the most hype thing for most people. We have the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Dual Dokkan Fest Ticket Summon will also be available. Keep in mind, uh, I made a video about this yesterday. Basically, it's the Dokkan Festival Ticket A, Dokkan Festival Ticket B, and they are basically just extra summons um, on top of the discounts we're already getting, and uh, the value is just insane. JP never got this. Remember, this is a global exclusive thing the tickets and that is this really nice <laughs> okay um will also be available 400 hours only super multi summon discount which is basically the three plus one hopefully we're also going to get the uh first four steps being 30 stones only like each for 90 stones for four multis like we had last year but i can't say for sure hopefully fingers crossed that happens again all right, number 18 is the new stage for Super Saiyan 4 Goku, of course. 19 is the new stage for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Uh, 20 is the Elder Kai banner, and I usually tell people to not summon on these, just because um, we usually get like a good amount of Kais for anniversaries and big celebrations, but if you guys are really hurting for Kais, I guess you can go for it, but um, I just feel like your stones are better spent you know, trying to pull for these guys as well as the other units on their banners, but it's up to you, it's your call, all right? Um, number 21, I'm, yo, I, I've been waiting for this, man. I've been waiting for this. We have all five type banners coming back just on uh, rotation. So basically, the AGL is first, the tech is second, the SDR is third, physical fourth, and the int fifth. They come one after another. They're there for, uh, looks like four day intervals. And they can, I believe you can only do one multi per banner, but the value on these banners is actually very good. Number one, because these banners are the best you know, rates to pull the specific type of LR that you want. So basically on the AGL banner, if you want an AGL LR, the rates are as good as it gets. Same thing for tech, same thing for STR, physical and int. And also we get 4,000 orbs of that specific type or whatever type the banner is when you do the multi. So overall, I think it's really good value. If you guys have the stones to spare, um, I would actually recommend to summon on these ones and you can always, you know, get an LR. Like my girlfriend Taya, she got uh, tech, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku on her first multi on the tech banner. So, um, like I said, the rates are pretty solid. Oh, by the way, uh, just to go back, going back to uh, the, the Stokon Fest, it says um, July 8th. But if you're in, if you, if you basically go by Eastern Standard Time like I do, it's actually the morning of July 9th uh, around 2.30 a.m. So that's why I keep saying July 9th. But like I said, 
the, the times and dates always vary depending on where you live. I know that there's people all over the world that watch my videos, so um, you gotta do your own conversion, I guess. We can also go to the Dokkan Wiki, which will tell you exactly, like to the second, when new units and new banners come out. So if you are really kind of confused or just want to know like the exact drop time, check that out. All right, Dokkan Wiki, just Google it or something. All right, moving, moving down to uh, number 22, we have the return, well, 22, 23, 24, 25 are the return of uh, all of the GT events, which makes a lot of sense, of course. Um, number 26, we have all of the hidden potential weekly events or hidden potential stages open over the weekend, uh, which is fantastic. Just a lot more opportunities to get more orbs, take advantage of that. Um, let's see, let's see. Number 27 is Super Battle Road, which is open every single day during the entire event. If you guys have been slacking or, you know, never were able to clear Super Battle Road, now is your chance to get the uh, missions cleared, um, get those LR Gohans, those LR Gokus, and uh, have a good time. All right, number 20. Oh, uh, I think that's it. Oh, that's So that's it for the new stuff for this part one, but all this stuff is still continuing, like all the Dokkan events are available, uh, all the Extreme Z battles are available, and these things are still available for uh, a little while, I believe. Okay, so this is going away in two days, but these guys are still here, and this, the uh, three minute stamina refresh, is still going to be here until the end of the celebration, so don't freak out about that, as well as the quadrupled rank EXP from Quest, that's still going to be here until the end of the four year celebration, as well, of course, as the 30% discount on the Baba Shop stuff, in case you guys are freaking out about that. Don't worry, that's still gonna be here too, alright? So that is all the stuff for part one here, guys. And we're gonna mo move on now to the Grand Tour stuff. We'll just take a quick look at it to see what it's all about. Um, so number one is for the One Star Ball. And we all need to collectively recruit 4.44 million Giru um, to our accounts. That's for all global players in total. And we'll get the one star, two star is activate the hit potential of 40,000 Giru to 100%. So 40,000 of us have to rainbow a Giru, which I don't think is going to be too hard. I'm going to go training at least four, you know, same number of times as the first mission. Um, complete the fourth anniversary missions at least that many number of times. Uh, clear at least 44,440,000 stages, defeat at least 44 million, same number of enemies, and consume at least four... 144,444,444 stamina, which shouldn't be an issue considering there's the three minute refresh and people are super hyped about the four year anniversary. I think we'll be good. So once we get all those, uh, we'll get some good stuff. All right, uh, let's see, login bonuses. Let's see what these login bonuses are about. So like I said, first login is 44 stones. You got some Super Saiyan 4 Gokus as well as the Red Dragon Stone. Tomorrow we get four stones, a ticket, all types, one of every type of Grand Kai, as well as some of these fourth anniversary medals. And if you move down the list, it's basically four stones every single day for the remainder of part one of the celebration. And the Super Saiyan 4 Goku is, uh, let's see, attack and defense plus 44% plus an additional 44% attack when attacking Pure Saiyan's category allies, defense plus 44%. So he's actually not bad if you guys don't have any Super Saiyan 4 Gokus for like your Pure Saiyan's team. Um, but otherwise, he's you're probably not going to use him over like any of the other summonable Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, but he's, like I said, a nice souvenir to keep. Um, so that is it for the login bonuses. Really nice. Got some tickets, got four stones a day, which is, of course, a lot more than your average. And we got some missions here. Let's see what these missions are all about. Okay, here we go. Um, hmm, does it say exactly how many, how many stones in total we're getting, or...? I don't think so, actually. No, it does not give you a total. Okay, so... Let's just do a quick little tally for ourselves. So one stone a day here every single day for completing all the missions. So uh, that would be, what? what's part one, like two weeks? So let's say around 14 stones or something like that. I don't know, 14 stones, let's say for the daily missions in total. And we got two here for clearing the story events. So two, uh, four, let's see, uh, six, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so 20 stones for the special mission. So a little bit less, like, or the limited missions, rather. Um, a little bit less than I was expecting, unless I just, like, completely did the math wrong, which is possible. I'm very excited right now, guys. Like, <laughs> I can't do mental math right now. I mean, I can't do mental math normally, but especially now when I'm this, like, amped up. Okay, so I, I am seeing 25 stones in total 
uh, for the or 20 stones for this and then 14 ish stones for this so let's say 34 stones in total for the missions um, which is a little bit less than I thought but hey we're getting 44 for first login so I'm not gonna complain too much all right uh, and this is just a few details for let's see uh, just the okay the, the medals okay Giru event um, we got the pan event we got the Hercule event, we got the God Dragon Stone or the Red Dragon Stone, we got the Ticket Banner, um, a new event for or new stage for the boss rush, and that is all there is to it right now guys. So that is part one of the anniversary. Let's check out um, this banner actually before we get going because I do want to see if all the LRs are on it. Uh, let's see, okay, character summon rates. And let's just go. Okay, so we're looking for a Tech Broly. We're looking for a Tech Broly. Um, if Tech Broly is on this, then that means all of them are on this because Tech Broly is the most recent one, right? Oh, there we go. Tech Super Saiyan Broly. Okay, so all of the LRs are on this. Awaken Demonic Power Warrior, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's no other Tech Broly in the game, right? Okay, so that is LR, Tech LR Broly. So yeah, all the non Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs are on this banner guys good luck i'm gonna keep saving my tickets for a bit just to do a bigger video but if you guys are summoning right now um I, good luck to you guys best of luck i wish you nothing but fire pulls and fire luck for the remainder and for this ticket banner as well as the remainder of the four year anniversary um i want everybody to get exactly what they want and uh, just be happy man so <laughs> good luck guys all right so that is the uh banner right there and also um, let's take a quick look at the Red Dragonstone pool here. So these are all the Red Dragonstone units. You can get basically all the Extreme Z Awakenable units um, that are in the game. And I would definitely recommend people to get Super Gogeta if you don't have him because he's just such an awesome unit. But um, you know, it wouldn't be a bad choice to get Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta or Super Saiyan 3 Goku, um, the AGL one over the STR one. But if you already have the AGL one, you can also get the STR one too. But the tech one, a uh, tech, uh, <laughs> tech viewers is great as well. I mean, to be honest, they're all really good. But I say like my top three would be uh, STR Gogeta. Um, Tech Beerus and Super Saiyan, probably Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Those are my personal three, like, top favorite uh, Extreme Z Awakenable units. But once again, it's up to you guys. Um, they're all good in their own way. So, you know, just make your decision and whatever you're happy with, just go for it, right? So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Um, I think it went on a lot longer than I was hoping it would. Oh, there we go. We just got the reset and we should have. <laughs> I don't think I got my stones yet at the time. Let's see if we got our stones now. I think we should have. Yeah, okay, okay. I like what I see. 44, 40. And we got our five Gokus as well. Let's accept those real quick before we get going. All right. We just got 48 stones, right? 48 stones for first login. That feels really good, guys. That feels really, really good. Guys, I am so excited for the remainder of this anniversary, this celebration. I've been waiting for, for it for so long, and you guys, I'm sure, have, have as well, so enjoy it. You guys deserve it. Have fun, man. Um, and of course, I have so many more videos planned for you guys coming up. A lot of summoning videos, a lot of info videos, uh, just a lot of good stuff overall. So stay tuned if you guys uh, enjoy today's video. If you guys are hyped for the four-year anniversary, then make sure to like the damn video. And also, if it's your first time watching me and you like what you see and you also want to stay up to date with all of my four-year content coming up, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I will see you soon. Have an awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedia, signing out.